We're playing Atletico Madrid and Man United. Man United, a completely new animal that we've got to destroy. That's quite brutal. But uh, Atletico Madrid, we've faced them loads of times. We've won, we've lost. But more importantly, last season, we knocked them out of the Champions League to get through to the quarterfinals. So, bring it on. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of the NK Marable Save. I'm Cultured Left Foot and it is wonderful to have you along for another episode. This is episode 72, I think, and we're back in the Champions League. We beat Tel Aviv in the last game, got through in the group stage. Atletico Madrid, Man United and Celtic are who we got drawn against. Today is a double header of Atletico Madrid and Man United, both in today's episode. And then we'll hopefully win them both, but I'm not confident about being Man United. Atletico Madrid, yeah, I don't know. It depends how we play. We can beat them. We know we can beat them. So not much else to discuss on that front. Two games in between, we beat Gorisa 5-0 and then sort of stumbled across the line against Kirkenova Mesto. They play so defensively, it's hard to break them down. But an 84th minute Lice Muset goal gave us the win we probably did deserve. So we're here for Atletico Madrid. It will be Atletico Madrid. Three games in between that I'll do offline and then Man United at Old Trafford, which would be wonderful. And if Man United ever do play against NK Maribor in Europe, I'm definitely going to get a ticket for it in real life. So, come on Maribor, step up the game. Uh, really nothing else to discuss, so we will see you on the game day screen. Okay, so here we are, away at Atletico Madrid. This is how we line up. Bacola is in goal. Krajewski, Kalatekar, Karic and Kusarello at the back four. Takax, Jukic and the Gnome are in the middle. Musa on the right, Sancho on the left and Cardos up front. On the bench we have Michur... Michaud, Michaud, I'm not, still not sure. He's going to get a nickname. Um, Lekic, Held, Kalelia, Pavlin, Blazic and Zahovic sit on the bench. They line up in a 4-4-2. Lukaku leads the line with Asensi. Coutinho plays as left winger, which is interesting. Uh, he must be getting on a bit, actually. Coutinho. 33, yeah. He's still got quite a bit of pace, though. He's still a very good player. Uh, Toliso and Koke in the middle, Bailey on the right, Torre, Bonini, Bravo and Rahman at the back four, and Oblak still stays in goal. Luna, Franceschini, Rodriguez, Prieto, Bracalo, Pereira and Rashica are the substitutes for Atletico Madrid. Now we've done that, let's go to kickoff. So we've stuck with the formation that got, basically got us through this tie last time and it got us an away goal when we needed it. So let's see if we can progress again as Takax gives away a foul straight away in the first half. But there's also a little bit of a rivalry going between myself and Diego Simeone. Um, we're actually classed in the press as club rivals as well, because we've played each other so many times in a short space of time, but not quite on the club general screen yet, which is interesting to note. And I'm, I swear there is dynamic rivalries in Football Manager 17. As Q Sorella gets in, ball in looking for Cardos, but he couldn't get there. It's clear to Asensi as... Atletico Madrid look to break on the counter-attack. Coutinho, good ball up to Lukaku, sprints away, puts it into the top corner. And from our attack, Madrid go up the other end and score what is quite a good goal. It was a lovely pass from Coutinho, to be fair. So Coutinho picked the ball up just about the halfway line, dinked it over to Lukaku. Great first touch to get it out of his feet. And then pinged it past the on-Russian Bacola. Didn't really have a chance. It's a good goal. And, uh, yeah, a disappointing start. As someone rightly said in the comments, I think this year is more about a Europa League spot than progressing in the Champions League group because obviously Man United are going to be good and we're currently 2-0 down to Atletico Madrid. So that's always going to make it quite tough, isn't it? Coutinho again involved, picked it up, good ball out back to the to Koke, the corner taker. Swings it in, it avoids absolutely everybody and Asensi is just there with an easy finish at the back post and that's Atletico Madrid 2, NK Maribor 0. As we tick down towards half time with not very much action coming from us. So I think I'm going to go very, very bold. And we're going to go attacking. This is what we're going to go for. Uh, Sancho was actually playing all right. But he's going to come off. And he's going to be replaced by Said Kahia, who's also going to get a nickname after this game. All the nicknames that have been suggested will be put in place in time for the Man United game. Don't you worry. Um, we're then going to leave, well Jukic can still play there, although he's not playing very well. We're going to leave, oh I can't, I sort of want to put 
yeah, we'll do that. We'll put Musa as the complete forward for now. Uh, if not, then we can bring Zahovic on. Actually, Musa's having a poor game, so Zahovic can come on already. We'll do two, those two subs at half-time, see how that goes. And we will go from there. This could leave us very, very open. And Atletico Madrid could literally fill their boots with goals. But um, I'm going to say I expect to see a much better showing. Come on, let's get out there, boys. Show me what you've got. Places are up for grabs. The goalkeeper situation, because we've got two goalkeepers that are both key players, we are literally rotating them. Not on a game-by-game -game basis. We've conceded in 23 seconds of the second half starting. I mean, Simeone's got them well fired up for this game. Bailey with the ball out to the right. Torre gets there. Is it a nice little low cross here? Low cross to the front post. Goal. Well, Bacola should do better, really. I mean... Yeah, that's disappointing. Um, obviously, Celtic aren't losing 3-0, but they are losing 2-0. So, it's definitely getting between Celtic and ourselves for the Europa League spot. What we don't want is a disappointing, too disappointing campaign, because we've built up a lot of coefficient points with the last run to the quarterfinals. As we're ticking down, 60 minutes have gone, um, Cardos is still having a pretty terrible game, as are most of the back four. Krajewski's having a poor game, isn't he? We'll bring Pavlin on because I don't really want Carriage to get suspended, uh, uh, get sent off and get suspended. So we'll go from there. Once this has gone through, we'll do a cheeky little team talk. Assertively, uh, demand more. Come on. I demand more from you boys. As we're still not really getting into the game. It was probably the wrong thing to do, go to this formation. But we've gone for it. We've thrown caution to the wind, as they say. We were away. I think we're always going to get beaten. And, uh, yeah, it's a shame we haven't done more, really. I mean, 12 shots. It's just only four of them on target, which is really, really abysmal. Um, especially if you consider that our strikers are actually quite good nowadays. As Bracala comes forward into Asensi, shoots. Bacola, it looked like he should have saved it again. It looked like he should have saved it. And I don't know. Is it... I say we're going to rotate the goalkeepers. Maybe I'll just drop Bacola altogether. Um, Asensi's in. I mean, it's, it's a good shot. It's a good shot. The 3D saves Bacolo's blushes, I think, because it's it was better than it looked in 2D. But I'm, I'm still quite disappointed. I am quite disappointed. Maybe the team talks weren't good. As Cardoso's in, can we, we can't even get a goal. Because that will be the game, I think, as we come forward. Yeah, um, a lot of people have left a lot to be desired by that and I'm going to shout at them aggressively there we go but yeah disappointing disappointing yeah we suffer every defeat I'll do that team talking in a minute in a minute and the gnome tells the press that I was shouting at them a lot there was one thing I needed to do and show you we signed Alessandro Granili um, on a free transfer would you believe he's worth 4.7 million now Juventus released him after he never ever well, he played one game for their senior team. Then he had little to loans places. But I've sort of got him in just so that we can sell him on. I don't think he's going to play that much. But the fact that his value is already 4.7 million. And he hasn't done anything. Is another option isn't it? It's another option in the centre midfield. For those that were questioning it. Um, Bradley Dack is still here. He's just in the B team because he's not very good anymore. So he just sits in the B team helping the B team out. Not much else to say, really. Right, I'm going to play these games offline, and I will catch you guys for the Man United game, which will be... Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I'm not looking forward to it, really, because Athletic Cambridge just battered us. But, oh well, at least it's in Luchke Vert, which has finished its stadium upgrade, so it's now got a capacity of 15,150, I think. But anyway, see you at the Man United game. Hello everybody, welcome back. We're playing Man United. We are at Lujke Vert. In between the previous game against Leicester Madrid and this game, we won all of our games. We even played Olympia Ljubljana and got a new record attendance with 15,002, I think it was, or 15,020. Something like that, which is really, really impressive for a Slovenian league game. So really happy with that. But, on to today's game. What you will see is that we've changed formation. I've Taking into account what's happened and what's been said in the comments about being far too attacking against big teams. So we're going for a 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, one. 
because it's really defensive and I've struggled to break it down in the Slovenian league when teams have played it against me. So I thought, you know, as a manager, learning, evolving, not revolving, but evolving. And uh, this is how we line up. Dylan Me Warm is in goal. That's Dylan Me Shured because, as someone pointed out in the comments, Shured is warm in French. So he was called Dylan Me Shured. So Dylan Me Warm. There we go. Gleasing at right back. DCC. That's the centre back whose name I've already forgotten um, because it's easier to say DCC. So he's in at centre back. Carriage is next to him and Cusarella is left back. Enderam sits at the half back role. Buffal sits on the right, Blazic and Takaxa in the middle, and Sancho is on the left. We're playing attacking wingers. We want our attacks to come from the wings. So we're playing attacking wingers. A ball winning midfielder in Takax and Blazic is a centre midfielder on attack. So basically, those three, and I'm pointing at the screen and you can't see it, so I'll use my mouse. These three, Buffal, Blazic and Sancho, should push all the way up, but still leave us with pretty good numbers at the back. Basically those four. Um, and Cardos leaves the line up front. Said he is on the bench. That was the other striker that we signed. Um, he got two goals against Olivia Lamba and played really well. Muset's on the bench. Lovric, Dukic, Kravchikits, Bakola and Pavlin. So this is, I think, the first time you're going to see Dylan me warming goal. Hopefully everything will be all right. Ah, back home and comfortable. Man United line up with this. David De Gea is still in goal. Other than that, and well, him and Paul Pogba are pretty much the only names that... Are still there. Oh, Marcus Rafford is on the bench. 4 4 2. Kalidio, Rodrigo, Lemos, Pastor at the back. Sane. Leroy Sane? Bloody hell. How much did they buy him for? 51 million from Real Madrid, who bought him for 74 million. Bloody hell. Leroy Sane, Sousa, Pogba, Dini, Gomez, and Dybala up front. It's a very good team. Jones, Kulabali, Atkan, Aikman, Rashford, Rafina, Miere, and Fred are on the bench. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. So we are starting on a counter-attack in formation. They're playing a 4-4-2. It doesn't say attacking or defensive, which would I would think means they're starting on a sort of control formation. But we'll see how our counter-attacking does against it. Someone also asked me to point out in the... Um, well, uh, in this episode, can we look at how the other teams did in Europe? Yes, we can. Really badly. But I'll show you how they got on after this game. What I'm looking for in this is basically let's dominate a bit of the ball and hope to create a chance and take it. That hasn't happened because we've had one shot, one on target and it didn't go in and it wasn't even a highlight so I don't think it was that good at all. What I would like to know is in the comments below let me know what you think, what formation you think I should play against big teams like this. I mean because this is stifling the game and that's not a bad thing to do at this point but we're putting all of our eggs in the beating Celtic basket, which I hope we can do. And this always was going to be a tough draw. But yeah, let me know down below what you think I should do with the players I have against big teams like this. As Man United come forward, Leroy Sane. Back throw to Kalida, good save from Dylan Me Warm. And he should slow the tempo down. There we go. He's completely slowed it down so that the highlight just didn't want to carry on. Uh, Man United getting back into the game a little bit more. They still haven't changed their formation though. And it doesn't look like they're bombing too many people on as we get into half time at nil nil which is a decent result and i'll take that at the moment i'm going to calmly say i'm happy with this keep it up keep it up we'll go for the classic passionate you weren't that bad but i leave you you know i, I believe in you and all of that i believe and on the likes jack septic i will know that song i believe in you i believe Striker isn't doing very well, probably because we're not getting in the ball. And Buffal's not playing very well, probably because he doesn't actually like to play as a right winger. Also, trust me to go to a formation that uses out-and-out -out wingers once I've sold them all. And although we haven't actually had out-and-out -out wingers, I think, since I've been at the club, because I don't use them. I think what I might do is take Cardos off for Zahovic, though, because, I don't know, Zahovic seems to be a big game player. He seems to enjoy playing in in Europe especially, and games like this, as Rashford has come on for Man United, so that would be a bit more pace coming at us, like Cleopatra, as that's a terrible shot by Dinny. Easy save for Dylan Me Warm, and he plays it long, and that's the end of the highlight. I am going to make a sub, because we've just gone past the hour mark, so Cardos is going to come off, not for Zahovic, I didn't put him on the bench, but said he is going to come on, and I'm tempted to go, I don't know, I need to take Buffal off really, because he's playing poorly. I could put Moose out there, which I think is a bit more pace. So pace 13. Let me say pace 16. Yeah, let's bring 
move set on for Buffal and just see if we can penetrate their lines a bit more. <laughs> penetrate. But, um, yeah, thanks guys for watching again. If you've got anything you want to find out, obviously this is the end of this season is going to be 10 seasons complete. So we'll do another five-year review and see what all the other leagues are doing and things like that. But if there's anything you want to find out before that, um, let me know. Let me know in the comments and I'll go and look for you. Someone's requested to go and see how the other teams are getting on in Europe. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look after this game and see how they've got on in Europe this season. So if there's anything else you want to know, just, yeah, drop a message and let me know. Takax isn't playing brilliantly, so I'm thinking I'm going to... Well, he, he's playing all right, but he's on a yellow card and knackered. So Jukic is going to come on. Are those two? No, let's keep them like that. Um, and we'll put Jukic on... Uh, that's going to be too attacking. I don't want to do that. Deep line playmaker. Deep line playmaker on defend. Let's just see if he can just move the ball around for us a little bit. He's been surprisingly good, the guy we signed for Olympia Ljubljana. I didn't think he would be as good as he has. And it's uh, good to see. Rafinha the ball in. Pogba goes for the header. It's full time. And I'll take a 0-0 draw against Man United. I like that formation as a defensive formation. Um, I'm going to say you're unlucky. They couldn't really care but I'm not going to say anything else to ruin it but it does put us in third place we've got an unlikely point of Man United Celtic lost to Atletico Madrid 4-3 bloody hell that was a close game I'm not looking forward to going to Scotland and playing Celtic because we didn't do very well last time they the press say it was Man United labored to a draw yeah interesting 15,510 is that a, is that a sellout I think that May well be a sellout. 15,510, it is. A full seater sellout for the Champions League, which I think is our first ever. That's very, very good indeed. Right, as promised, we will look at the other teams in Europe. So Ljubljana qualified for Europe, and they crashed out in the third qualifying round. They lost to Atromitas from Greece, which was very, very disappointing. At least they actually got through the first round. They beat... Nakasa Lions, who are from Malta. Good, I'm glad they beat them. Then they beat Gurori ETO, who are from Hungary. At least they beat a professional team. And then, yeah, they lost to Atromitis, APS Atromitis, from Greece. So they crashed out pretty early. The other ones were Selge, I'm pretty sure qualified as well. They got knocked out in a third qualifying round. They beat Plegros Nidukom, an amateur team from Luxembourg. Um, then they knocked out Odds BK, which has got to be some sort of Norwegian team, yeah. Just, just by the BK, Balulu Club or something. I'm sort of the North Man will massively correct my way of pronouncing that. Um, and then they lost to Omnia Nicosia from Cyprus, which is a shame. We did batter them 5 0 before they played that game, so that might have been our fault because they actually won their home leg in that. The other team that got into Europe, I think. I think I want to say it was Domzale, but I may well be wrong. I am wrong. In fact, did another team even get into Europe? Uh, Garisa? No, they didn't. Um, Cooper? I'm pretty sure didn't. No, maybe it was just us three. But this is the issue. We're having. Yeah, none of the other teams jump out at me or get into Europe. This is the issue we're having with the coefficient. How whether, however well I do to increase the coefficient, it's the other teams are really fucking it up because they're not beating good enough teams to increase the coefficient. So it's a really long struggle. And I am going to say this now. I will be amazed if I win the Champions League before Football Manager 18 comes out. That's what I'm saying. I think this is going to be a long haul save and I apologise if you lose interest. Because it's, I find it really interesting playing the Champions League in this save. But I don't think we're going to win it before Football Manager 18 comes out. If we do win it, I don't think we're going to get Slovenia to the number one ranked competition in the world. Purely because of how shit everybody else is in the league. I'm hoping... I mean, I was hoping to be top 10 by now. And I've bloody dropped. The highest we got was 14th. And then look at this. we all the way down to 20th. We went up a place, but... It's just so oh, annoying that they're so crap in Europe. But, I mean... Yeah, I don't... Uh, yeah, there's not, not much else to say. I could ramble on about that for ages of how bad they are. But 
Anyway, we got a good 0-0 draw. As I said, Atletico Madrid beat Celtic 4-3. But we're going to end it there. But before we go, let's find out who we're back for. Probably another double header, a Celtic double header. That'll be the decider, I think, to see who gets the Europa League spot. But that's what we'll be back for. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Only 7 off 500 subscribers at this moment in time. And as I said, there will be a giveaway for the 500. Well, at the 500 point, we'll do a little question in one of the episodes. And there'll be a giveaway of a nice football book. I haven't decided which one yet because I've got loads. But yeah, there we go. Cheers for watching. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. Cheers.